join me on this journey as we research unknown creatures from around the world. On this episode of Mythological Creatures Explained, we'll be looking at the blood-sucking scourge of Europe, the vampire. Vampires are creatures that are extremely popular in pop culture, but their history is far darker and more horrifying than what we see in movies. Creatures with vampiric characteristics have appeared as far back as ancient Greece. These stories told of creatures that attacked people in their sleep and drained their bodily fluids. Tales of walking corpses that drank the blood of the living and spread plague flourished in medieval Europe in times of disease. Vampire myths were especially popular in Eastern Europe, and the word vampire likely originates from that region. Though, it should be noted that vampire-like creatures are not isolated to this region of the world. Many other cultures have creatures oddly similar to vampires, which reinforces the belief that they exist. Truthfully, what we think and know of vampires for the most part, comes from the continent of Europe. People in Europe would exhume the bodies of suspected vampires in modern times. We know what decomposition does to the human body, so any changes to a person's body after death are easily explained by science. But imagine digging up the body of someone you have known for years, and you see their gums receded their hair and fingernails somehow growing longer, even after death. This reinforced the belief that these corpses were walking the earth after death. The modern incarnation of the vampire myth appears to have come from Gothic European literature from the 18th and 19th centuries, which is when the vampire hysteria reached its boiling point in Europe. Vampiric figures were in poetry like in Heinrich August Ossenfelder's Dare Vampire, which is about a vampiric narrator who seduces an innocent maiden. Two notable pieces of literature include the serial Varney, the Vampire, or The Feast of Blood, and The Mysterious Stranger, which are cited as possible early influences for Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dracula set the precedent for almost every vampire story and film since its publishing. A person can become a vampire in a lot of ways. The most common is, of course, being bitten by another vampire. Others include, but are not limited to, sorcery, committing suicide, some type of contagion, or having a cat jump over a person's corpse. According to legend, Vlad Dracula, a.k.a. Vlad the Impaler, is the first recorded vampire, at least as far as European vampires go. Legend has it that he enjoyed dining amidst his dying victims and dipping his bread in their blood. This is only speculation, and there isn't any evidence that supports this, but it isn't far-fetched because of him being extremely brutal, hence his nickname. The characteristics of vampires are difficult to pinpoint, as there are other creatures that walk the earth after death, such as zombies, and don't forget other creatures like blood-sucking ghouls. Central to the vampire myth, it is the consumption of human blood or other essence, essence referring to bodily fluids or psychic energy, followed closely by the possession of sharp teeth or fangs. In most traditional depictions, Vampires are undead, which means that they are literally reanimated corpses, so they tend to have very pale skin. However, their appearance ranges from the grotesque to beautiful and human-like. They are often said to not have a reflection, nor do they cast a shadow. This is why they cannot be photographed or recorded on film. These otherworldly beings don't get sick. They cannot age, and they have rapid healing capabilities. Some stories tell of them being faster and stronger than any human, 
even being able to transform into animals that we know, such as bats and wolves. Killing a vampire can be done in a number of ways, though the most popular and common method is driving a wooden stake through the creature's heart. Other methods include fire, decapitation, and exposure to sunlight. Vampires can be weakened so that you can kill them or simply escape from their grasp. Garlic, running water, Christian symbols like crucifixes and holy water are common deterrents. In some cases, it has been said that vampires cannot enter your home without being invited inside. One very strange and lesser known way to evade a vampire is to scatter objects like seeds or grain on the ground because the creature will be compelled to count every single one, thus giving you the opportunity you need to run away. I hope you enjoyed this video about vampires. If you'd like for me to keep adding videos to this series, give the video a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment on what creature I should do for the next episode of Mythological Creatures Explained.